So we're gonna take a look at deployment methodologies for Elastic Beanstalk, and you're gonna notice that uh, down below I have blue-green. So we never covered blue-green as of yet. Um, and so these have all been uh, mutable all the way to all at once have been deployment policies. These are built-in uh, deployment methods into Elastic Beanstalk, but we have blue-green, uh, and we'll explain the difference between in, in place and uh, blue green in the next slide here. But let's just compare these methodologies and understand what the trade offs are because this is definitely important on the exam. So the first one is all at once, uh, and it has the fastest deploy time because it updates all the servers at the exact same time. So if we have four servers, it takes them out of service, applies the updates, and puts them back into service. But when they're out of service, we're going to experience a downtime. And downtime uh, could be a bad thing um, if your users notice, um, and that could impact their experience, or if they're doing serious or, serious or critical transactions that could be a problem. So you have to decide whether that is a trade-off you want to take, but most people do not want to use all at once. Uh, and also if you encounter an error, um, let's say all you, your deploy fails and you have four servers, now you have to roll them back manually. And uh, so that's kind of a pain, but also imagine if you encountered an error during rollback, so the rollback fails, and now you have four servers all stuck in a broken state. That could be extremely detrimental to your business, losing hours upon hours of time. So you have to weigh those uh, trade-offs. Now, next we have is rolling. And so rolling um, mitigates this downtime uh, problem where we have instances that are out of service. So what it does is, so if you have four servers, like the previous case, it's gonna update these in batches. So it's gonna take the first uh, two and take them out of service, right? And then put them back into service, and then it's gonna move on to the next one. But uh, the trade-off, uh, there is still a downside, which is we're gonna have a reduced capacity. So if you have to have always four servers to run your critical workload or to just uh, handle the uh, current uh, usage, uh, this is not going to be ideal for you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use rolling with additional batch. So rolling with additional batch is very similar to rolling. So it's going to work in batches, but instead of taking a batch out of service, it's going to add a new batch. And once this one is uh, good and running, it just kills an old one. And so this way you always have at least the, the, the minimum amount of servers you need running to uh, meet your capacity needs. Um, but, you know, rolling back um, for... Uh, these methodologies so um, can be difficult. It's still a manual process. Uh, and you could just imagine having to roll each section back uh, could be painful. Imagine that you're rolling this back and then this part, this rollback fails. And now this one's stuck into a state. So you have the, uh, a weird number of servers messed up here. Uh, this can be extremely difficult. Uh, so the last one here is immutable. Immutable, um, the idea is you just replicate your entire environment. So like all at once, you know, if you had four servers, it would take them out of service. With Immutable, it would just create four new servers. And once they're all good, then you could move over to those four new servers. And if you had to roll back, you just point back to the old ones because they still exist because they haven't yet be been deleted until you decide to do so. So Immutable gives you the best flexibility in terms of the rollback process. Um, it can be uh, more co uh, expensive depending on how long you keep those servers around. Uh, the provisioning time uh, takes a long time. The actual switch takes very little time because um, it's very fast to ro uh, roll back or switch to the new version, but to provision those servers take a while because you're replicating everything at once um, and before you can actually start routing traffic to it. Because with rollbacks, you can start, like with rolling, you can start routing traffic to new instances uh, uh, gradually or immediately, uh, whereas Immutable, you have to wait till all the servers are ready. But I, you know, I think Immutable is extremely, extremely uh, uh, safe um, and a good, a good uh, deployment methodology to use. And then last, we have Blue Green, and Blue Green is very, very similar to Immutable, um, where it will replicate the all the uh, servers. So if you have four servers, it's going to make uh, four new servers, but also. Um, it could spin up other infrastructure like elastic load balancers and stuff like that. But the, these are super, super similar. And that's why we have another slide to uh, talk about them to understand when something's in place versus blue green. But just before we move on here for elastic beanstalk, the blue green methodology uses um, a DNS uh, way of doing blue green. So that means that when you want to move over to these new servers, it, it roughly three points to a new load balancer. So there's a new load balancer with new instances on it. 
And so the change is happening at the DNS level. And the reason why this can be a negative is that DNS, uh, DNS changes have to propagate to DNS servers around the world. And the effect that could happen is that um, there could, you could have this new um, production server ready, but people are still being pointed to the old one or it's going nowhere. And so even though the server's not down, there could, uh, some users could experience unavailability just because you know, they're being pointed to the wrong thing. So that is a consideration you have to think about. Though for Elastic Beanstalk, it's not generally that bad, but it does happen. Um, so we do have to consider that as a negative. But now that we know deployment methodologies, let's move on uh, to the comparison between in-place and blue-green.